I hear the clock ticking and the end is nigh and time waits for no man. Listen, life goes by and it goes by quick. Don't waste those years. Don't waste them. Live them. You gotta go, man. You just have to go. Ne never wait on the right time, because the right time ain't ever coming. You have to go. When you have these ideas of greatness, you gotta go forward. Because it's not gonna be a right time. Just go. Just go. Go jump. Take a chance. Listen to me, you're running out of time. Imagine how many things you could get done if you had an infinite amount of time. You gotta have a plan. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. What's the plan? How I deliver it and how people may take it, then that's their business, you know what I mean? Like I said, I do my job. My job is to fight. There are challenges in every single day. The biggest one, to be honest with you, I think is being able to stay focused. Like always with anything, you gotta take the good with the bad, you know? When I made a decision to, uh, to follow my destiny, I felt it calling me, my destiny was calling me. It is one thing to be successful, it is another thing to sustain success over the coming decade. The earlier you get in the game and get on track, the better life you're gonna have healthier, wealthier, stronger, smarter, better. And if you're an old man like me, and you haven't gotten on track yet, get on track. Get on it now. Every, everyone listening to this, here's the deal. No complacency. No complacency. No backing off no slack whatsoever fight fight that ticking clock with everything you got so at the end of a hard day put your head down with ease satisfied like everyone is always going to find something in your success or in your story or upbringing um, that will try to knock you down like literally Trauma can mold you. Trauma can be a fantastic thing. Heartbreak, depression, sadness, these are all fantastic motivators. I mean, we sometimes think that a, an epic life occurs one sunny Friday afternoon when the stars line up and something revolutionary occurs. A great life is built not by revolution. A great life is built by evolution. Small and steady wins the race. You already know who you are. Your need for acceptance can make you invisible in this world. Risk being seen in all of your glory. Your goals and dreams have to be bigger than your, your problems. If you're going through hell, keep going. I mean, why would you stop there? You know, I was in hell, so why stop now? You might, if you're going through hell, should keep going. I told you, I want you to think about those goals. I want you to taste them. I want you to, I want, I want you to be, I want you to internalize it. I'm not asking you to tell me what your goals are because I'm interested in hearing everybody. Who, I couldn't, I couldn't possibly do anything with it. Listen, this is what I'm telling you. I'm telling you to dream your dream because I want you to feel it. It's very important as you hold on to that dream. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one. Everybody on the way to where you're trying to get to, you have a decision that one, one day you, you can go forward and you turn back. The problem is the average person turns back from their dream. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until I win. 
What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be the president. You're not the only one that wants to be the CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. It takes discipline to face your fears so you can conquer them. And that's what discipline is. Discipline means taking the hard road, the uphill road to do what's right. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. It's possible. Yes, your dream is possible. My number one competition is me. It's always you versus you. You got to be the one to get up every morning, be disciplined, put in the consistent daily hard work because that gains success. No coach, no trainer, no mentor, no boss can do it. You versus you. You have to lose your fear of failure. Failure is a part of the process. People who never fail, never try. You have to fail. You got to get it wrong to get it right. You can think about it, you can wish for it, you can vote for it, you can, can think all about it, all as long as you want. But unless you get out every single motherfucking day and put in the work, inch by inch, you will never get there. One of the things limiting you from your income, your impact, a world-class life. You care too much about what people think about you. So no matter how you feel, get up and do what you're supposed to do. That's it. And that's discipline. It's not motivation. If you only did what you were supposed to do when you were motivated to do it, that's leaving it to chance. But if you're disciplined, you go do what you're supposed to do. That's the way it works. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. No matter what's going on in your life, it's not permanent. Everything is going to change. So there's two things you can do with change. You can react to it or you can participate in it.